Imagine living in a city where everyone is so uptight close to one another and you never have to walk miles to go to the doctor because even before you know it, it could be just across you or right above where you live. Hey there, welcome to another episode of High Technology. If you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you would get updated when another mind-blowing video like this comes up. Come with me as we take a closer look at these communities stacked in a line and developed vertically rather than spreading out from a central point. The line, a contentious mirror linear megacity that is a component of Saudi Arabia's most ambitious project Neom City has started to be built. Several excavators can be seen digging a long straight hole in a recent video that circulated on social media and was shot in the vast desert in the northwest of the Arab nation. The city, which is intended to be 100 miles long, is scheduled to have its foundation erected inside the trench. Even while architects and economists have questioned the project's viability, when it was first presented in 2017, its projected flourishes, such as flying taxis and robot maids, repeatedly raised heads. People were certain that this concept was only a utopian fantasy that would never materialize. But now, construction on this future megacity is already under progress. In the extensive site's recently released drone footage, the early stages of the city's building may be seen. The video depicts a large number of vehicles and machines preparing a construction site in the middle of the desert. Wide-ranging excavation work is currently being done along the project's full length. The line will be 170 kilometers long, 500 meters tall and 200 meters broad, according to renderings that have already been made public. However, if you pay close attention to the construction video, the width of the trench that is being described does not appear to match the suggested dimensions. Within this enormous structure are seen in the photographs that were just recently made public, big park grounds, rivers and waterfalls, sports complexes, and residential and commercial spaces. The trench shown in the drone footage is far less than 200 meters, which is equal to two American football fields. There is reason to suppose that this excavation could merely be preparatory work for the underground high-speed transit system that is planned to be erected under the land of the city since the actual size of the line would ideally be three times the size of this trench. The line is arguably the most dramatic project currently underway in the architecture and construction industries. It will be taller than the Empire State Building with a huge stunning mirror glass exterior and be designed to house 9 million people. The city will be completely sustainable because it won't have any roads, automobiles, or carbon emissions and will function purely on renewable energy with the help of artificial intelligence. Currently, the only evidence of the city's existence is a website and a press release from Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Despite the glitzy presentation, many design experts think that such a city's technology is still in its infancy. The line is envisioned as a collection of distinctive neighborhoods that will be arranged in three directions of movement, up, down, or across, a practice known as zero-gravity urbanism. The three layers are an underground transportation spine with ultra-high-speed transit, a surface-level pedestrian layer with parks and open spaces, and a lower surface layer. According to the proposal, all daily services would be accessible on foot within 5 minutes of each line node, and high-speed transit trips between nodes would take no longer than 20 minutes. Some experts believe that these objectives are impossible. Larger nodes that could accommodate more passengers would be necessary for the line to support this level of public transportation, and if there aren't enough passengers at each stop, the infrastructure won't be able to function profitably. The technology for the line's transit system may not even be available now. It would take 318 miles per hour to cover 100 miles in 20 minutes, which is faster than the current high-speed rail. Some of China's high-speed rail trains can reach speeds of 236 miles per hour, whereas Eurostar trains in Europe go at roughly 199 miles per hour. Although Elon Musk's Hyperloop technology is still at least a decade away from being in use, it theoretically could handle the travel. Before we move on, if you like to learn more about incredible videos on the highest form of technology available on the planet, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Some believe that this project is really just the most expensive publicity gimmick ever, intended to divert attention from the world's harsh reality. Although it is often believed that the Neom is being built on virgin ground, the location is actually a section of the Red Sea coast, one of Saudi Arabia's most neglected regions. 20,000 members of the Hawaii-taught nomadic tribe reside in a number of cities that do exist. The Saudi government plan to seize the land of the Hawaii Tap people who have been farming in this area for many generations. In April 2020, because they have no place in the plans for Neom, a member of the group who refused to turn over his ancestral land was eventually killed by the police, and his death soon after sparked a wave of criticism from human rights advocates. The forced displacement of indigenous people may seem like a major obstacle, but it is only the beginning. It was recently announced that three more tribe members who had been detained for resisting their eviction had been 
given the death penalty. Extreme heat is a particular characteristic of Saudi Arabia's desert climate. To combat the fact that the structures inside the line were mirrored in the mirrors on the outside of the skyscrapers. Given how significant they would need to be, this may have a variety of effects. Any things nearby might melt in locations where the light is reflected off of the mirrors, doubling their heat. Environmental planning specialists are also critical of the idea because they think that the mirror line size and length will disturb the breeding grounds of migrating birds. Not only will a number of wild creatures be relocated, but the dynamics of groundwater flow will also be impacted. Given the scale of the line, it would be unfeasible to create a 500 meter tall structure using low carbon materials and building the line would require an incredible amount of steel, glass, and concrete. Even if the line emits no greenhouse gases and runs entirely on renewable resources, building it would result in the production of more than 1.8 billion tons of carbon dioxide, which is more than 4 years worth of the UK's entire emissions. The majority of the suggested green efforts would be defeated by this. Saudi Arabia will have to overcome both internal and foreign hurdles related to financial and technical feasibility in order to construct the line and see it through to completion. The main economic problem Saudi Arabia has is its inability to successfully entice financial support and investment from foreign governments and businesses. The kingdom's history of human rights breaches and the boycotts of the kingdom by numerous western nations and businesses are to blame. While the original goal was to finish Neon by 2030 with a budget of $500 billion, some reports suggested that Neon may not be finished until 2050, which would result in a large cost rise. The total project including the line is expected to cost the kingdom $1 trillion. The Sovereign Wealth Private Investment Vehicle of the Kingdom, which is a public investment fund, provides funding for the project. Riyadh has not been successful in forming other financial partnerships for the line, with the exception of conversations with a few overseas businesses including Russian ones. The Kingdom's oil exports, which have been a volatile market in recent years, are a major factor in the public investment fund's capacity to remain financially viable. The financing of this massive project is expected to have ups and downs in a nation where almost 60% of its financial resources come from its oil. The initiative also calls for overcoming technological obstacles that Saudi Arabia cannot handle on its own. It is crucial to adhere to advanced urban design technologies that will grab the interest of investors and future city dwellers. Otherwise, the lion would be added to the long list of Gulf cities that are unfinished. In spite of a predicted population of 2 million, King Abdullah Economic City, a metropolis and port, housed less than 10,000 people after 10 years. That would be a wrap for today's video. We hope this has been amusing to you. If you enjoyed watching, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. This has been high technology serving you the best in cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. We'll see you on the next one.